Good day students. So kids, do you practice your drawing lessons from your art book? Today we will also revise our craft lesson. That is origami house and origami sitting dog. So better watch the video very carefully. First let's revise our chapter designs using shapes in which we use basic shapes that is square, rectangle, triangle and circle and we created designs from a square. You know now how to draw a square and we used design using shape square on page number 13 and we drew the design. using rectangle so you know now how to draw a rectangle too and we made a shape of design using a rectangle on page number 14 so practice this too and kids we even learnt craft do you remember it yes we made origami house and origami sitting dog and you also know the basic folds now. So these are the step by step images of the house and a sitting dog. But for detailed video you watch my video which I had posted before few months. Ok kids. So kids. You know now what step by step means. Yes, you know very well. As I had explained earlier also. Means working on something one step at a time. Which I showed you an example of a staircase. And learning words from a single alphabet to a two letter word and a three letter word. So kids, now do you know anything about owl? Owl is a bird. Tunnel. Now, let's see. Many owl species are nocturnal, meaning they are active at night. Owls spend much of their waking time hunting for food. Means what? That owls don't sleep at night. They sleep in the daytime. And at night they hunt for their food now let's see something rare things about owls okay the eyes of an owl hmm their tube shaped eyes are completely immobile providing binocular vision now what is binocular vision can see far away thing well which fully focuses on their prey okay, it's a and boost depth perception means their eyes are so, so sharp that they can even see far away things very well you know you have binoculars the way you see things with binoculars the owl has a natural inbuilt binocular hmm isn't it wonderful now one more thing Owls can rotate their necks to 70 degrees. Look here. I have shown you on in those, these two images. The owl can turn totally as well as see how it's rotating the neck. Hmm. So beautiful it looks. And what does a group of owl call? Parliament. Owls, they are known as a parliament. So today we will learn step by step drawing of owl on page number 20. So first we will follow the step by step drawing and then our drawing in the art book. So let's watch the video to understand. 
first we will watch the step by step drawing then step 1 is draw an oval like an egg then two circles and a curved line below step 2 will also have and then we will continue with the step 2 and the nose and the wings and the legs now how are the legs just watch carefully. I am showing you the detail at the side. Now the final step is step 3. Big eyes, the beak, the wings, legs, wings and beautiful hair. So this is done. Your a dotted line is given in your art book. So trace along the dotted line as shown in the images next to it. First I will trace it with a pencil and then with the black sketch pen. So if you are not having a black sketch pen, you can use a black pencil color or black crayon. Just follow my video very carefully and follow the steps here. I feel owl is a very evil bird, but some things that it is a dangerous looking creature. And though it keeps awake at night and sleeps at night. Now I will draw the hair and bunch on which the owl is sitting. So this is done. Now we will start with the pencil marks. I will start with the top first with the hair. I am using an orange color. Use a brown shade to get the required color. First use orange and then brown. Again the same way for the wings use an orange crayon and on top of it use a brown crayon. And for the body use a dark yellow that is yellow ochre color. First color the edges and then the internal part in one hand motion. Here I am using upward and downward motion. And then I will use an orange color to highlight it and just blend it with the finger afterwards. The eyes are dark bla black. Okay. Now the branch is brown. Now just blend with a kit cotton or a tissue paper very lightly. So it's done. So this is a final drawing of owl. How beautiful it looks. So kids study well and practice all the chapters mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.